Hello and welcome to MATLAB Programming for Numerical Computations. We are in Module 5 where we are covering methods to solve nonlinear algebraic equations. This is the last lecture of this module, Lecture 5.6. In this lecture, we are going to con consider multivariable newton raphson method. In previous lecture, Lecture 5.5, we have covered f solve which is a matlab function in order to solve multiple nonlinear equations in multiple unknowns so when we have a system of n nonlinear algebraic equations in n unknowns we can use f solve in order to solve that in lecture 5.4 we had covered a single variable newton raphson's method in today's lecture we are going to extend the single variable newton raphson's method covered in lecture 5.4 to the multivariable case and we are going to solve the Lorentz equation problem that we saw in the previous lecture, lecture 5.5. Okay, so let's look at the steady state Lorentz equation. The steady state Lorentz equation is of the form uh, x minus y equal to 0, 2x minus xz minus y equal to 0 and x minus 3z equal to 0. Okay. Uh, now, in computation of uh, 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 newton raphsons method for a multivariable case, we need to compute a Jacobian. The Jacobian, uh, as you might be aware, is computed in the following form. Okay. The 1, 1 element of the Jacobian is going to be partial uh, f1 by partial x, df1 by dx. So df1 is uh, f1 is this guy. Okay. So when we take a partial derivative with respect to x, we get that value equal to 1. Okay. The next guy is going to be partial of f1 with respect to y. So that's going to be minus 1. And the third is going to be do f1 by do x. Now let's look at the second row. The second row is going to be the first element of the second row is going to be do f2 by do x and that is going to be 2 minus z. The second guy is going to be do f2 by do y which is minus 1. The third guy is going to be do f2 by do z which is going to be minus x. So the do by do z of this term and this term is going to disappear because there is no z dependence over there and only this term is going to remain and uh, because we are taking partial derivatives with respect to z uh, x is held constant and we get minus x multiplied by 1 which is minus x as the third guy. Likewise, if we look at the last equation uh, do f3 by do x is going to be y do f3 by do y is going to be x and do f3 by do z is going to be minus 3. Okay. Recall that Newton Raphson's method in a single variable, let's insert the equation over here. Newton Raphson's method in single variable was written as x i plus 1. Okay, let's just move this. Oops. And let's increase the font size. Okay, so the Newton Raphson's method in single variable was x i plus 1 equal to x i minus f i divided by j i okay where j in, in that case was nothing but f dash in case of multivariable case we are going to just convert all of this into vectors okay Okay. And because we cannot divide by j, what we need to do instead is take an inverse. Okay. So this is going to be j i inverse of that. Okay. 
multiplied by fi and this is our multivariable Newton Raphsons. Okay, so this is for multivariable Newton Raphsons. We want to solve where f x y z is nothing but this guy and Jacobian j is nothing but this guy. Okay, so let's head on over to MATLAB and try to solve this pro problem using multivariable Newton Raphsons. Okay, okay, so let's look at what we earlier had. We had uh, uh, written earlier uh, uh, a function called Lorentz system, uh, which was used with fsolve. Uh, let's save that as a different file name. Let's call that Lorentz sys. NR, NR standing for Newton Raphson. Okay, and we need to use the same function name as the file name. So we'll just replace the function name with the file name. This particular file needs to calculate both F value as well as the Jacobian. So let's call the Jacobian as Jack. And let's define Jacobian. Okay and let's look at what we had over here 1 minus 1 and 0 so j is going to be 1 comma minus 1 comma 0 the second row is 2 minus z minus 1 minus x 2 minus z minus 1 minus x and the third guy is y x minus 3 y comma x comma minus 3 okay and this is all that we need at this stage okay so keep in mind that we were able to write it in exactly same fashion as we had written it over here mainly because we were we had written the variables x y and z equal to x1 x2 and x3 right in the beginning uh, sometimes we will not be able to do that in which case we will have to write this as 2 minus x3 minus 1 and then this is going to be minus x1 likewise y is nothing but x2 and we we can write this as x2 and this is going to be x1 okay either ways is going to be exactly fine they are both exactly the same thing okay you need to be careful about the the variables that you have used for simplicity i will just undo my edits that i have done a few minutes back okay and we should be good to go okay one thing you will notice i'll i'll just uh, actually try to do this uh, right now if i call this nr using our variable uh, uh, some x okay so let's call this lorenz let's call f comma j equal to lorenz sys nr say 1 1 1 1 1 1 we are gonna get some problem and the problem is the output argument jack is not assigned now let's see why we get that particular error we get this error because instead of calling the jacobian jack i have called it capital j over here so i just need to change this and there will not be an error Okay. Other thing to keep in mind is that MATLAB, I will just undo this and show you. Now MATLAB is fairly helpful when it comes to uh, pointing out some errors or warnings. So if you see over here, what was the green button has changed now to orange button over here. And it says that now if you click over here, it will go to the location where it is giving you a warning. If you take your mouse and hover at that point you will you will be able to see the warning the warning says the function return value jac jack may might be unset what that means uh, is that matlab is trying to tell you that in this function lorenz's nr i am expecting jack as my output variable 
However, in the entire function, I have not specified what that jack is. So I should go here and change my j to jack. When I do that, you notice that the orange uh, bullet has turned into green, which says that no warnings are found. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, now let's say we want to go to Newton Raphson's and we want to do a multivariable Newton Raphson's. So let's go over here and save as multi multi variable n r for Newton Raphson's. Okay, let's say so law solve not yes solve a sequence of nonlinear equations using nr newton raphson okay now our initial conditions was capital x equal to 1 1 1 okay keep in mind what i'm doing over here is i have taken a previous uh, uh, solved problem and i'm editing that rather than writing this entire multivariable newton raphson from scratch Maximum iteration was 50 and tall x to keep the same as what we saw in F solve in the previous lecture. We will take the tall x as 1 e minus 6. Okay, Computa computation using uh, not fixed point iteration, Newton Raphson. Okay, our initial x, oh, sh we should call this as x naught. Our initial x is x naught. Our x old is also x naught. Okay. Now over here, f comma j is equal to Lorentz's n r of x. Okay. So previously what we had was we calculated f using 2 minus x plus log x instead of that instead of our fx equal being equal to 2 minus x plus log x our fx is x minus y uh, and so on and so forth our fx was x minus y 2x minus xz minus y and xy minus 3z so we replaced this particular guy with this Lorentz's nr and Lorentz's nr in addition to giving f also gives Jacobian okay our new value of x is going to be our old value of x minus Jacobian inverse so i n v j multiplied by f okay error is going to be x minus x old okay and error we want all the rows ith column should be this okay and our capital x old equal to x and if error is less than if all the errors are less than tolerance x then we end this computation okay so that's what we have let us clear all okay and let's solve this multivariable nr okay we have solved multivariable nr and we get the solution x as 1.7321 1.7321 and 1.0 and we have got this x in only five iterations okay now let's change that initial guess to minus one minus 1 and 1 and let's see what happens when we run this so when we run this we again got the solution and solution again we reached in five iterations okay and the solution is minus root 3 minus root 3 and 1.0 let's change this to minus 1 minus 1 and 0 and let's see with that what we get our solution and we run this okay we get our x as 10 to the power minus 21. So that's really, really close to zero.
this is the overall code that we have used in order to solve the system of three nonlinear equations in three unknowns using multivariable Newton Raphsons. We started off with the single variable Newton Raphson code and the changes that we made were primarily at two locations. The first change that we made were instead of calculating x equal to x, uh, sorry, 2 minus x plus ln x, we used our function Lorentz cis nr in order to calculate our f and our Jacobian. And instead of using x equal to x minus f divided by df, instead of that, inverted Jacobian and pre multiplied our function f with that Jacobian. Okay, that was the other change that we made. The third change that we made was that error in any ith iteration is no longer a single value, uh, but it's a column vector. Okay, so we found that column vector as the difference between x and x old and checked whether all the three elements of that column vector whether or not they are less than that x tolerance and if they were then we stopped that iteration if not we kept continuing the iteration till the uh, stopping criteria was met okay so with that we basically come to the end of not only this lecture but to end of module number five okay and thank you for listening in the next module, module number six, we are going to cover regression, interpolation and curve fitting. Thank you and see you next week.